Hello everyone, in this video, we will explore how to integrate AG Grid into an Angular application. AG Grid is a highly customizable and feature-rich data grid component widely used in web applications for displaying and manipulating large datasets. It supports a variety of frameworks, including Angular, React, and Vue, and offers a wide range of functionalities such as sorting, filtering, pagination, and cell editing. AG Grid is known for its performance, scalability, and flexibility, making it a popular choice for developers looking to implement complex data grids with ease. First, we will create a new Angular application using the Angular CLI command. Once the Angular application is created, open it in a code editor. Next, we will install the AG Grid library using npm. Remove all auto-generated code in the app component template file. In this application, we are using standalone components. Therefore, we need to add the AG Grid Angular module to the import section. Next, import call def, module registry, and client side row model module from AG Grid Community. Register the client side row model module into your app component using module registry. We should create two variables for column definitions and row data. In this application, we will display the product list details in the data grid. Therefore, we need to create an interface for the product object. You can create this interface using the Angular CLI command or with the help of a code editor. In this example, I am using a mock API to retrieve the product list. The API details will be provided in the description of this video, so please refer to it. I will copy an object from the API response and declare the interface properties accordingly. You should follow this approach as well.
Once the interface is ready, then declare the data type to row data variable. All right, let's create the column definition details for the product title. We'll start by defining just one column, and then we'll expand to include all the product details. Now, we need to fetch the row data, which is the product list details, from an external mock API. To do this, we'll include the HTTP client module and the HTTP client for making HTTP calls within our Angular application. First, import the HTTP client module in the import section. Then, declare the HTTP client inside the constructor using dependency injection. After that, create a method to retrieve the product list. Instead of hard-coding the URL in the method, declare it separately. Finally, use the HTTP get method to fetch the product details. Next, you need to implement the ng on init lifecycle hook. Within this hook, call the get product list method. When handling the subscription, ensure that you assign the row data to the product list details. Import the AG Grid CSS file like the following. Next, we need to declare the AG Grid Angular custom directive within our HTML template file. Once the directive is added to the HTML template, we need to set the table's theme. Following this, we should specify the height and width of the table. Finally, we need to provide the row data and column definition information. After completing all tasks, we will proceed to check the output of the code. Once the project is executed, you can review the output in the browser. The browser should display the title details within the grid format. Next, we are going to include the other column details one by one. The thumbline property contains the image URL, which requires displaying the product image inside the grid. To achieve this, we need to implement custom cell rendering. Consequently, we will create a custom component to display the image. Please proceed to develop the component as described below. We have created the component for custom image rendering. Next, 
we need to import the cell render property into the column definition and assign the image render component to that thumbnail field. To implement the iCell Renderer Angular component in the Custom Image Cell Renderer component, follow these steps. Ensure the Custom Image Cell Renderer component implements the iCell Renderer Angular interface. Import all necessary implementations to the component. Declare a variable to hold the cell value, which will display the details in the grid. In the template file, declare an image tag to display the image detail. Once all these steps are completed, check the output in the grid. Next, declare the all column definition one by one. For the price field, you should prep in the dollar symbol to the data value. Similarly, for the discount percentage field, you should append the percent symbol to the data value. This can be achieved using value formatters. Value formatters allow you to modify the content by appending or prepending characters to the value. For the rating field, we need to display the rating as X out of 5. To achieve this, we will use a custom cell rendering method. This method allows us to format the rating appropriately, displaying values like 4 out of 5 or 5 out of 5.
To implement pagination in our grid, we need to configure several settings. First, enable pagination by setting the pagination property to true and specifying the pagination page size. This size can be any number like 5, 10, 20, or 50, determining the number of records displayed per page. Additionally, we need a pagination page size selector, a drop-down to choose how many records to display. To enhance the functionality of our grid, we will enable checkbox selection, sorting, and filtering for the necessary column definitions. Here are the steps to achieve this. I hope you have now learned how to integrate the AG grid into your Angular application. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I will respond to it promptly. Please continue to support us by liking and subscribing to our channel and sharing this video with your friends who are learning Angular. If you need any other Angular tutorials, please comment or email me, and I will address your requests as soon as possible. Thank you again.